Hello CNG 128 students engineering economics. This is Dr. Hisham. Uh, this is one of the videos that you will uh, need to watch uh, where I will uh, explain to you how to use both spreadsheets for uh, the first phase of this project, tool project. Um, so I will assume that you watched the other two videos before watching this. I will build on what you have seen before um, and and to, to move quickly and show you how to move between the spreadsheets. So the first spreadsheet we see is the traffic equilibrium. Uh, the other spreadsheet is the overall cash flow analysis big spreadsheet. Um, so what you will need to do is to start from the big one and start filling these yellow fields with the scenario uh, that you are evaluating. Um, so the, the one of the so I'm, I'm evaluating currently the first scenario, uh, filling all this information. But then one of the values that you need to put is how much you are charging as a toll fee. So if you go here, uh, you will charge ten dollars. Per, per per vehicle and it's the same for every year but when do you charge it this is the question here so we are constructing one to road two lanes this will give you two years of construction which means that in the first two years there's no toll because you don't have a toll road operational yet uh, and then you start charging the ten dollars so you just fill this and use the ten dollars for 13 years so you are evaluating scenario with 13 years and then leave the other blank or no toll because the toll road will be transferred uh, back to the DOT to manage and it will be a public road from now on so you, your own cash flow will be 13 years so now you filled all the scenario decisions uh, it's a matter now of keep tracking of the road condition and the traffic over the years which will help you to calculate the other numbers here that you will do yourself I will not cover in this video the different components of your cash flow so what you will do now is to look at the third year so this is the third year and try to do the calculations for the road condition and traffic uh, now I provided already formulas here for the first and second year so it's a matter of, uh, of very simple step which is dragging these formulas to the third from the second to the third year sorry the mouse is giving me a hard time but you're dragging here uh, the formulas are by cell reference of cells um, so you drag this there in the mouse uh, please help me and yep so one thing you see also that in the first and the second year um, manually putting that all the traffic is going through the public road. So the first year here you have <coughs> sorry 10,000 and then growing to 10, 150. All of this is going through the public because you don't have operational tour road yet. So the third year now we have an operational tour road. So you need to figure out now the values for the traffic going here and there um, so and we see also that after you construct uh, and finishing constructing the tour road you see now there are some values appearing for the IRI which is the road condition the metric you can say um, so now it's the the time for the traffic engineer to jump in and look at the values that they will be using for uh, the the uh, traffic equilibrium so the moving to the other spreadsheet now I filled all the things for the scenario so toward one two lanes and now we need to look for the, the values here that represent your your third year of operation so if you go back to the spreadsheet uh, all the values here for the IRI are less than 2.5 so there is no rehabilitation uh, and then there is uh, so if you go back to the spreadsheet here so you put false and false for the rehabilitation of both roads now uh, you need to copy the M values so both of them are pretty new uh, so the M multiplier for the road condition here is one and one so 
I just need to change that to be 1 so both of them are 1 and this is the first year of operation it's charging 10 year, $10 so $10 and then this is your third year so this is the third year and we see it's referring to the same uh, traffic volume that you have in the third year now we need to do equilibrium so we got all the information we need here we go now to the traffic equilibrium the traffic engineer will first do the split of this as much as you can equally uh, so I'll do this uh, 5,000 5,000 and then go to the solver and say solve and the solution was found the number would change and we see here with this toll you will only get around 900 vehicles a day which is very few it didn't make much difference because actually the tour road is operational in full lanes um, and you are charging too much you can say uh, you are serving only the elite who can pay for the road uh, all the toll. so now it's now the tour engineer is passing this information back to uh, the, the project manager and the tour road operator so 891 is the traffic in the in the tour road so all right 891 and then here you have 9411 um, for the public road 9411 and you see here um, 891 9, 9, 4, 1, 1. Um, and we see the values here are almost very close to be the same um, so there are different, slightly uh, difference in the rounding here. So, but the, this is this is our you can say our equilibrium point. So let's follow what you have in the spreadsheet here. If it tells you this is the value, then this is this is the value you can copy to the spreadsheet, and then keep doing that for all the years coming forth. So copy the formulas to the next year, um, and drag the formulas to the next year, and then the traffic engineer would get the information that you have from here to the, sp the spreadsheet for the traffic equilibrium do the traffic equilibrium analysis and pass back the traffic volume and keep going the only thing that you need to do yourself is dealing with the formulas and trying to calculate the revenue the cost and then of these formulas or these cells here will add them up discount them and you will be able to calculate the other uh, values here or the main values for uh, evaluating the uh, economic feasibility of the Sinai. And so you, if the project or the Sinai is 13 years, you will only fill this. If it is 20, we will go beyond until the 20. So this is how the process works between the two sheets. Um, and, and again, you need to drag formulas, copy back and forth some numbers and develop the formulas for these cells and you should be ready and to finish every one of the three scenarios and submit your validation report. So this is the end of the uh, recorded videos about using the spreadsheets and uh, I hope you, you, you like the spreadsheets and help you, which is the purpose of them, helping you to focus on tracking the calculations. So um, have fun and uh, calculate and pay attention and work work together uh, to make sure that the numbers are, are correct. Right? So thank you and see you in the lectures.